I first was approached about this movie by two of the producers, Whit Godfrey and uh, Isaac Klausner. They just asked me if I was interested in Neil Armstrong, and I wasn't really sure, to be honest, at first, if it was a subject matter I wanted to dive into. Three, two, one, maneuver. A few weeks later, I opened up the book, Jim Hansen's biography of Neil, and it just struck me in a way that for some reason hadn't struck me before, just how insane this whole operation really was when you actually look at it at face value. I just became fascinated by where did the willpower to will that into existence come from and how did it actually become a reality. So I started diving in. I brought on Josh Singer to write the script. I really was quite taken with all the things I hadn't known about Neil. I didn't know anything about his work on Gemini. I didn't even know he flew X-15s, which are you know, the coolest flying machine we've ever built. Almost no one knows that he lost a two-year-old daughter. We had a swing like that. Yeah, Karen loved it. That's your daughter. I talked to Ryan before we even started shooting La La Land. I asked him if he'd be interested in playing Neil in this film. We talked about really trying to replicate the reality of it. He kind of came at it from his own angle, which was less about the mission and more about the man. There was a duality to it that's interesting in a cinematic way. The Armstrongs experience a tragedy that's unfathomable. Neil's sort of left looking for answers that he can't really find on Earth. That, in a way, kind of became the core of the film, the very sort of inner story of this individual who struggled with tremendous loss on his way to the moon. There's a, a deeper need for Neil to succeed at this than just to succeed. We're full steam ahead for Apollo. You good with that? <sighs> yes, sir. It's about him as a human being and what it means to make such extraordinary strides for humankind. And it's worthwhile looking at the person who was at the center of that. Okay. Very nice. Eddie. I've only worked with Damien on La La Land and on this, but in both cases, the style came from the story. Let's do one more like this, and then we'll do one where he walks away. What experience were you trying to create for the audience, you know? And this was about sort of really trying to put the audience in the pilot seat. You grab it off, just boom, boom, and then take it under your, and just stick it under your left thigh. I wanted every aspect of the film to feel real and lived in and textural, not just the mission, the sequences, but also the stuff on the ground. We can do this last. A lot of this is shot in real time. Damien wants to shoot it in that way because it means that you're with the characters. Let's uh, go to the next one. And action. You could look at Neil's life and feel like everything was preparing him for this moment. Somehow he was able to balance what he and his family were going through emotionally and still get the job done. The movie really had to be about the moon and the kitchen. In other words, the, the two extremes, the cosmic grand expanse on the one end, but then on the other end, this day-to-day -day existence that not just Neil and his family, but all the astronauts and their families lived. And Buzz, yeah, that's great. Lock eyes on Ryan for a moment. I think this was a different experience for Damien and I because we felt, and rightfully so, a responsibility to accuracy and to try and honor the people who experienced it so that the audience could experience it that way as well. Cut.